at what age did you start to realize that maybe you could get a following online and make money there? Um, it took a while. I really, I, th I think I started um, going to the studio around 17 and I don't think I released any music officially until I was 25. Um, for the longest time, I thought it was cringy that every fucking white guy thought he was Eminem. And uh, they all rapped. Everybody rapped. And I didn't want to be that guy. So I think I just kind of sat back and tried not to be a rapper for the longest time. But... I just had, I was always in the studio. I was always fucking around. We record songs with people. We would record little features and stuff. And um, before I knew it, I had enough songs recorded to put out a little mixtape album. And I did a little album release party. And every time I would do like music, release music, have people in the city that were known for stuff would be like, dude, you're dope. You're tight. Like, you should you should be doing this. I had no idea you did this. I was like, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing if you suck at it. But now that people are thinking I'm decent, maybe I should just fucking run with it. So so when you first released your first songs at 25, I'm guessing that's in response to maybe a, a demand. Were you building an audience online before that, or did you just yeah, decide to um, do this? I was I had I was building an audience online. I had uh there was a bunch of like forums based around music and local music and um I was a part of it because of my work with everybody, you know, I was doing designing graphics and stuff, so I was there all the time and uh, I was going to shows all the time. And I was a part of everything, so I, I had like this name recognition without having the music out. And I just had enough stuff that uh, one day I went to go do a, a donut eating contest, and I won this donut eating contest. This is where I got the donut chain. I won this rubber fucking donut, and I put it on a necklace. It had this donut chain, and. Uh, when I won the donut eating contest, I also won a rap battle the same week. And at the rap battle, it was like a, there was a guy that was known for battle rapping here in Seattle. His name was Mike Phenom. They had this thing where it was like, who can uh, beat Mike Phenom? And all these battle rappers came up and tried to uh, battle rap him. And they all like got taken down. And then I came up and I just like over the top goofed it and won and then another guy that was doing like a, a monthly show saw me there and was like, do you want to come do a set at my monthly show? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come do a set. And it was my first time doing like a set in Seattle. And that's where uh, um, there was a guy in the audience. He's uh, signed, to, signed to Rhyme Sayers. He's Henri Osborne was his name. Um, he was in a group called Dark Time Sunshine, a bunch of other tons of stuff. He's in a group called Old Dominion tons of stuff in Seattle and he was in the crowd and um, he like gave me a, a little attaboy at the end of my performance and I was like that's dope like he's one of the most respected guys out here and he's giving me a little heads up so I kept running with it and it seemed like every time I would do stuff I would just get more and more appreciation approval and fandom so I just kept booking stuff like crazy after that and um, I think there was only maybe two or three times that I ever reached out to book my own show um maybe maybe four or five times where i reached out to book my own show but um for the most part people were just calling me to get me on shows uh like very regularly three four shows a month sometimes uh for years i was con consistently doing live shows and they were always always fun always good times were you playing with any notable people around this time um, probably like Mac Lamore was coming up at this time. Um, there was uh, a lot of nerdcore rappers would come into Seattle, and I was uh, playing with like uh, 
MC Front a lot and guys like that. Um, like later on, I would play for uh, Dirt Nasty. Um, I would open up for Dirt Nasty a couple times. Uh, Little Dicky, stuff like that. 